Let's change the color for the day. This is the Reviver R-Plate digital license plate. Gone are the days of old license plates. The R-Plate is semi-configurable. There's some display options, has LTE and Bluetooth connectivity. Installation on this model is really easy. There's no cabling involved, no wires you have to fuck with. First thing, you obviously want to remove your old license plate and the mounting bracket for it. Clean behind the bracket as well so the adhesive tabs on the bottom have a good application. Installing the new mounting bracket is fairly easy. There's a lot of mount points configurable for different cars. Speaking of different cars, also make sure to choose the right threading type for yours. Luckily, Reviver thought about this and supplied a few different types. This dude is really slow. Let's speed it up. Once the screws are in, remove the red tabs to expose the adhesive. Once the bracket is firmly in place, just tilt the new one onto it. So that no one walks away with a cool ass license plate, there are two security screws to install. An extra detail that I enjoyed of Reviver is that they included security hole covers that fit very nicely. Alright cool, now the plate is on your car, the next step is to tie it to your account and your registration. Pick up your phone, install the Reviver app from your app store. Once you're signed in, you submit your registration and your license plate picture to them so they can securely and safely tie the license plate they sent to you to your registration. At this point, they're just verifying your information and you kind of just wait for one or two days. Mine luckily was done the next day. Once you get the notification, go back to the Reviver app that you installed previously. First step is to hold down the button on the bottom right for a few seconds. This begins the Bluetooth pairing process. Once it's paired, on the bottom left, you'll see the status messages change a few times. It might restart once or twice, but in a few minutes, boom, there is your license plate with current registration. Once it's connected, you can personalize your plate. The biggest difference maker is the actual background color. Since there's no backlight, how does this look at night? Night is the most dangerous time. Because the R-plate has no backlight, it has to lean on your car's license plate lights. But as you can tell, in either color, at night, it looks fantastic. You might have noticed earlier in the video, the DMV website was present at the bottom. Later, it was not. That's because you can actually change that message through the Reviver application. You can remove it. They also have thousands many, and I mean a lot, of preset messages you can put on. From what I could tell, there's no free text, but there's literally over a thousand options. And that is pretty much it. That is the Reviver R-Plate. Which color background do you guys like? The white one or the black one? Anywho, I'm excited to see where this technology takes off. It'd be cool if, like, 
manufacturers put these in the trunk or the bumper of the car, so it's already built in. I'd like to say thank you to all my car and technology fans for subscribing to my channel. You are appreciated. Until then, talk to you all soon. Bye.